Mr. Whippet found guilty of starting dog fight? Billy Bulldog declared innocent. Mr. Whippet is such a good dog. Everyone loves him. That's my problem, Mrs. Adams. I reported the facts, and now the pups are mad at me. What do I do? Have I ever shown you our scrapbook? That's Mr. Pug Adams. That's right. It all started back in 1770. As you know, at that time, the pups and the red cats did not get along. One night, there was a big argument, and things took a bad turn. The pack was sure the red cats had started the fight, and they were ready to call them guilty without a fair trial. But because they didn't have all the facts, Pug Adams knew that was the wrong choice, and he decided to do the one thing that no one else would. Those red cats deserved a fair trial and equal justice, so he became the red cat's lawyer. He said, facts are stubborn things, and no matter how we feel about what's happening, the facts do not change. Mr. Adams may have lost some of his popularity with the pups for a while, but it didn't last long. He'd always say, I believe the truth must be upheld and justice be fair for all. If you live by that rule, you'll always do the right thing. Yes, Mr. Adams. It won't always be easy, but standing for the truth is always worth it. And for that, Anne, you get a spot in our book. Today's tale is about John Adams and the virtues of truth and justice. Adams believed that in a free country, everyone has the right to a fair trial. So after the Boston Massacre, he became the lawyer for the British soldiers when no one else would defend them. John and his wife Abigail were sure this would have made him an unpopular figure in society. But instead, it proved that the colonies were capable of upholding truth and justice. He would later go on to become the first vice president and the second president of the United States. <laughs>